Hello folks, my name is Travis and welcome to this edition of Hope on Wheels. Before we get into the topic of this video, I wanted to say, send out an apology to all of my viewers for not having a video last month. Needless to say, I had a bunch of things that were not necessarily in my favor that happened. Uh, technology didn't work, variety of other things, but technology was the... Uh, bigger thing that caused me to have issues with putting a video up last month. Um, by the time I got it fixed it was already the end of the month and too late to put a video up. Um, but that's why I didn't uh, have a video last month. That being said, let's get into the topic of this video. There are people out there, whether you're challenged or not, that use a program called Dragon Naturally Speaking, or let me say that again since I slurred the second word there. Dragon Naturally Speaking. The problem with using Dragon Naturally Speaking is simple. You talk, it types, it's a really great program. You can use it for writing reports, writing letters to friends, writing to doctors, writing reviews on Amazon. I mean, the uses are endless. Here's the major issue that happens with it. Even when, if you use the readback feature or um, the, the spell that feature, all, all those options, sometimes, which happens more often than not, at least in my experience, it doesn't always pick up all the grammar errors or some of the spelling errors when uh, you read things back to yourself when it's being done through a computer voice it sounds correct but it's not is what I'm trying to get at and spell check on word for example doesn't always pick up all the grammar errors or the spelling errors either so I'm gonna give a shout out to my supervisor here I'm not gonna say her name I'm just gonna say my supervisor suggested that I get a program called Grammarly. There are two versions of that program. One is free, one is a paid monthly fee. They do work a little differently. I'm going to discuss a little bit of the differences as this video goes on. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to switch my screen over to Display Capture here so that I can show you a basic idea of how Grammarly works, folks. Now what I've done here is I've gotten a basic sentence typed up. When you open Grammarly, it's going to be, generally when you open up Word, let me show you this, oops, My fault, folks. I apologize. Hit the wrong button. Generally, when you open up Word, it's going to pull it up just like this. And Grammarly is always going to be to the right-hand side. You hit that, then it's going to go to this menu. That's easy to fix. It's going to be this right here. If it does that when it's in, if it does this when it's in free mode, if you've got the free version, just hit close again and then open it and it should there we go it reset it that 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 issue is only needed or that little trick I just showed you is only needed if all you have is the free version but when you open up Grammarly it's automatically going to pull up this menu now that being said all you have to do to get back to normal is this click on the home section and it brings you back to your typical word functions and other issues. Now, I typed a basic sentence here with, you know, issues. When I first typed it, I'm going to do this. I'm going to delete this comma 
that you see on, on my screen that I just deleted. Hit the space bar. Now, when I click off, no, oh, it did it without doing that. Sometimes you have to click off of that for it to work. But when there's a grammar error that Grammarly detects when it's on, it's always going to appear in red. Um, and you don't have to highlight it like you do with spell check or click right on the line. It's always going to appear as a red dot when Grammarly is open right here. And it's going to make a basic suggestion on how to make the grammar better, which is that. Which is just adding a comma. Now, I'm going to do this so you can try. Hopefully this will work. I'm going to highlight the document, have it read it um, out loud, and then I'm going to correct it and then read it again. And hopefully you'll be able to hear the difference in the layout. Wake up. Select document. Read that. Read that. Read that. That's weird. Undo that. Undo that. Select document. Read that. Hello, my name is Travis Noah. I am 37 years old and I have a physical challenge called severe spastic cerebral palsy. Go to sleep. Okay, you heard how fast that went. Sorry about the little error back there when it typed that thing. I forgot to put it to sleep before moving on. That's my fault. But, just to give you an idea, sometimes dragon doesn't always work perfectly, is uh, why I left that in there. You heard how fast that said it? Now watch what happens when I click on the green thing that it is suggesting I do. Wake up. Select document. Scratch that. Select document. Read that. Hello, my name is Travis Noah. I am 37 years old and I have a physical challenge called severe spastic cerebral palsy. Go to sleep. You heard how, you know, obviously the comma slowed things down. But more importantly, the red line disappeared once I clicked on the green word there. Again, if there's a grammar error or spelling error, it's always going to appear in this box right here. And I, I will say that using the free version of Grammarly, I have become a more effective writer because of that. Um, there is a premium version, which is basically just over $11 a month. It gives you more of a broad range of options as far as grammatically. Like, let me go to Grammarly here since it's not popping up in the other window. You see here where it says premium issues where my cursor is? You click on that, this will pop up. It says that there are two issues. Basically what that indicates is that if you choose premium, the premium version, it would give you even more grammatic suggestions of how you could become an even better writer. You don't have to do that, folks, but if you're trying to do this professionally, like if you're using Dragon for reports for uh, 
like what I do, human services or anything for that matter, I would recommend it. And I will just click on uh, the try it for free to show you. I don't know why it skipped out of my head there for a second, but the the benefit with this is, folks, I mean, it gives you a graph, and you can highlight certain sections to see what the differences are about what it will do and what it won't do. As you can see on my screen here, gives you an idea of the differences between the two versions. Now, the thing that I like, you see this little green deal up here? You can install a version of Grammarly for your web browsers. So when you're writing, like, best example I can give, a review on a product that you bought on Amazon or something, it will help you with the grammatic errors for that so that when someone else goes to read it that isn't you, they can understand what you put in there. Sometimes with the um, reviews and using Dragon, even when I would review products and write up a review for it, I don't always catch all the grammar errors that I submitted and I would get comments back from Amazon saying, what were you trying to say here? Can you restate that? Because we don't understand what you're getting at. Grammarly, through that kind of system, will prevent that. Or you can do what I love to do, which is write the review in Word and then just paste the thing in there instead of doing the web browser. It doesn't cause any viruses or anything, so you're, you're all good there, folks. Um, but I'm telling you, with Dragon, in conjunction with Grammarly, my grammar mistakes when it comes to writing professional reports, professional reports or a doctor's letter or something like that, even for personal usage, has gone way down. I mean, it catches things I didn't realize I said, folks. And it catches the fact that there's not a comma here, an exclamation point, or anything gra um, grammar-wise and sentence structure that you um, might want to change to make yourself a better writer. Now, again, in the free issue, it's not going to catch everything. It'll make suggestions for basic stuff that you may or may not miss, and some non so basic stuff that you may or may not see but the premium version gives you more professional options as again as I showed you here it gives you an idea of how that works some basic stuff or more professional options for when you're doing sentence structures how to correct your issues so just an option that you might want to think about folks is switching over to the premium version now that being said I'm going to switch back to my actual video capture here I really like Grammarly and my, again my supervisor is the one that turned me on to this because with Dragon and even spell check and Word I was turning in reports and other documents that I was writing up and not getting um, all the grammar correct. And my boss knew that, you know, Dragon was making the mistakes and I didn't always hear it when I said read that for options. But it, um, when she suggested Grammarly and I installed it, I started making better strides with not making mistakes as far as um, my documents are concerned. I am considering doing the premium version at home because I do a lot of communicating back and forth with my doctor and sometimes when I use Dragon 
I don't always catch the punctuation, and she ends up writing me saying, can you re-explain this, because it doesn't make total sense. Um, especially if I have to go into in-depth through the online communication system, which usually is just sending her an email through the hospital system that I use. She'll sometimes say, I didn't quite understand what you were getting at here, and then I go back and re-listen to it and try to follow along and read it. Well, then I realize there's a grammar error somewhere, and I need to fix it, but I don't know where. Grammarly, with dictation, helps me prevent that because prevent that problem from occurring. Because, again, like I said, when you listen to something, you don't always hear that there's a grammar problem. And my eye tracking, for me personally, stinks. So, therefore... Um, when I'm trying to read, even sometimes with big print, I don't always catch that a comma's missing or I need an exclamation point here. But Grammarly does. It notices that. Now, if you're not going to be doing major report writing or something, don't get the premium version. Don't waste your money even when you're using Dragon. Just get the free version. Because if you're doing basic stuff, just for your own self, then... The free version of Grammarly will work just fine. The premium version, in my opinion, from what I researched, because again, I've not used it, but I want to use it because I do a lot of writing for reports and stuff professionally, is meant for if you're really into writing and you're trying to write books or major reports or things like that, that could be a huge difference in your being understood on a very intellectual level if it's not grammatically correct. Now Grammarly will make it grammatically correct as, as you saw. However, it still said there are premium issues there, which means if I had the premium version, it would suggest better wording for better sentence structure. So just a thought, folks. I'm going to end this video there. I don't want to make it too long because I don't want to lose people. But as always, if you have any questions, uh, you can either email me at tnoa at hopealaska.org or leave them in the comments down below, and I will do my best to answer them to my ability. I hope this helps, and I will see you guys in the next video. Have a great day.